Yo, we understand a lot of people are uh, still in COVID. They're still in lockdown. But even if you just like to work out at home, a lot of people went out during lockdown and bought dumbbells, kettlebells. So we at Fitness Culture, we designed home workout programs for a lot of people. Today, we're doing one of those home workout programs in the house that I rent, in the backyard here. It's kind of getting cold outside, so this is gonna be a nice workout to uh, warm things up. But basically what we got, we got some push-pull, we got some legs, and we got some conditioning. So we're gonna start off using dumbbells, doing a floor press, we get failure. When I say failure, we mean technical failure. So for you out there that are listening, what does that mean, technical failure? On something like a bench press, if all of a sudden, it's a little bit harder to do on the floor, if all of a sudden you're doing this, pushing one up more than the other, you know, if, if it's not the chest that you're primarily focusing on to get that weight up, you're done. Straight into dumbbell bent over row to failure. That's easy. If you start throwing the weight, start standing up too much with your lower back, you start just really just using all arms, you're done. So to failure, that's gonna be, depending on how much weight you have, that could be a lot of reps. So boom, boom, one minute rest. We got three rounds of that. Do, do, do these superset, rest one minute, three rounds, and then we're moving on 20 dumbbell front squats. Again, we're talking about proper form here on these. So front squat, we're developing more that anterior part of the quad there. As you, the lower you go, we're gonna get more glute involvement in there. So we're gonna superset this with some dumbbell RDLs. RDL stands for Romanian deadlift, straight leg deadlift. We're working hamstrings and some glutes there. So after we do three rounds of that, the conditioning for the day. I love the conditioning like this. Get done with the workout, you know, at home. This is a great way to keep that muscle. Start, start talking about muscular endurance. We're going to failure on these first two things, 20 reps. So we're gonna be really testing that, that capacity to do work, muscular endurance, and then that cardio capacity. Then we're gonna give you a little break in here, and then we got conditioning. Conditioning you guys can do at home, whether you're on vacation, it's in the middle of a pandemic, or you just don't feel like going to the gym. So we're gonna take our dumbbells, and we got thrusters and V-up. So AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. We got three of them here. The first one is a five minute AMRAP. So in five minutes, we're doing as many of these as we can. 20 thrusters, 20 V-ups, back to thrusters. Boom, 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 back and forth for five minutes. After you're done there, one minute rest. Then we're jumping into another AMRAP, the second one for five minutes, alternating dumbbell snatch and mountain climbers. You're gonna see us doing a proper alternating dumbbell snatch. These workouts, these AMRAPs, again, they're gonna test your cardio capacity, but we're still working shoulders, still working core on these. We got mountain climbers with these dumbbell snatch. So we're going with dumbbell snatch into plank position mountain climbers. After we do a five minutes of that, one minute rest, and then we're doing our final five minute AMRAP, which is gonna be 10 single alternating lunges. So we're gonna hold that dumbbell, nice, nice position here. Lunge, alternating lunge. When I say we're right down here, boom. You don't have to touch the knee, but you have to get real close. 10, switch hands, and we got 10 on this side. So alternate five and five each leg, and that'll give you 10, 10 with your left hand, 10 with your right hand. Sounds pretty easy. This should take you, well, let's just find out. Joining me for this backyard workout today, we got Jacob Hutton, AKA Vanilla Gorilla, AKA he's the man behind the programming at Fitness Culture. So. This guy, I listen to him, you guys should too. So he's he's gonna be doing this workout with me today. We're going to failure here? Yeah, so one of the reasons, obviously, that we're going to failure is that it's gonna be hard if you're at your house with one pair of dumbbells to get a great workout. We actually got two. We designed this to, to, to be done with one, but we also, we're gonna use two just so we can go a little bit heavier today. So we have one that's a little bit heavier, some 50s, and then we both have some 25s as well, and we're gonna be using that for the conditioning the 50s we're gonna be using for the workout today. Anyway, it's hard to program a really good workout when you only have one set of dumbbells, unless you go to failure. And if you really wanna get something out of this workout, you're gonna to wanna to go to failure. So like Steve said, these first two, you're gonna to go to failure. And since we only have a minute break on this upper body stuff, you're probably gonna get worse every set. It's not, it's not gonna be enough yeah. rest time. You're gonna get a little bit worse, so it's gonna compound every set, and it's gonna get a lot harder as you go. Um, and then also just technical failure. So just make sure reps are locked in. The real reason we wrote technical failure is the dumbbell bent over rows. So people just don't get a hundred of them like this. Like you really just need to lock it in and just stay tight or you're gonna be able to go forever and just blow your back up. And good thing to remember, you guys, if, if, if you're one of those people that set kind of a home gym up during quarantine and you're not used to doing this high of reps, embrace it. Cause this kind of high rep training has its place. 
it definitely, definitely has its place. So just do it with good form. If you only have one dumbbell at home, you can just obviously do single arm, single arm row, single arm, and then switch arms before you do that. So technically you'd just be double the time on this, but here we go. How many are you gonna get here? Probably a thousand. A thousand? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we're going for 50. Woo, they're burning. They're burning. Let's go. Hurts so good. Straight into bent over dumbbell row. So on, on these bent over dumbbell row, I come down to parallel and then I just slightly raise. Pull them back to my hip. minute rest you see a lot of home workouts and try to suck you in with crazy ass movements you can always have fun with those things there's something to be said though just picking up some iron and doing as many as you can with good form we've actually had hundreds of people on this program for a while now and a lot of people are actually getting like pretty amazing results for being stuck at home you know that is the biggest thing that people have said is yeah doing all this high volume it just kind of changed up the way they train definitely does so they came back to the gym in better shape like their muscular conditioning i feel like when i Kind of when COVID first started happening, we got 20 seconds. Uh, I do home workouts for about three solid straight weeks. And I noticed definitely in my legs too, with all the lunges, all the body weight squats, my hips felt better because I wasn't under as heavy as a load, but I was able to get into positions that I no normally wouldn't be able to. Shirts are dumb, 40 degrees out here. We're still taking off the shirt. Last set, make sure you get a good form. All right, minutes up, we're back at it. But how you wanna hold these from the front squat? You wanna put them up on those anterior delts in a good front rack position, and then we're squatting. into our RDLs. Make sure the weight stays in your heels. Push those glutes, push the, the booty back like you're closing the door behind you. And you got your hands full, some heavy ass groceries. Breathing a little bit hard when it comes to that AMRAP time. It's gonna get you, again, attitude. Something like COVID happens. You're stuck switching up your workouts. You can sit there and bitch and moan about it, or you can find a way to switch it, make it positive. Improve your muscular endurance, improve your overall capacity, improve your conditioning, dial in your diet. Control what you can control, okay? Everything else in the world, put your blinders on, control what you can control. That's, uh, that's muscular endurance right there. If you can't find a pair of dumbbells, kettlebell, find some sand, fill up some bags, use some sandbags, use salt pellets, use cinder blocks, use rocks, whatever you gotta do, it's up to you. AMRAP time, we got five minutes. You guys get done with the above, give yourselves two minute rest, because we're feeling generous. And then we got a conditioning. So five minutes of thrusters and then 20 V-ups. You guys can set that, that clock. We're just gonna get right into it right now. Make sure you hit 90 degrees at the bottom and finish at the top. In the books, 
definitely uh, push yourself. Condition, find a way to get better. I'm definitely out of shape right now. I feel like I say that a lot on YouTube. <laughs> we got one minute rest, and then we're into our dumbbell alternating snatch and mountain climbers. Dumbbell snatch, you wanna show them how to act properly do. Jake, the nice thing about Jake is he can literally dumbbell snatch his body weight. Close. You can I did dumbbell a, snatch your body weight. A single arm barbell snatch with 185. Um, I mean, a dumbbell snatch in a conditioning setting is gonna be almost like you're staying attached to it. So really, back straight, hinge at the hips. We're just gonna touch the ground today, punch overhead, oh. and then transition like that. You can go up, down in the transition too. You're just not gonna get any of that loaded tension out of the bottom like you would if you came from the top, stayed loaded, and get that rebound effect. So it's almost like a, a kettlebell swing, that rebound it's a lot effect. Like, like it really is a lot like a kettlebell swing on a, like a normal dumbbell snatch. If you're going for the explosiveness, you'd literally just be like, Whoo! but that's not very really right. efficient. Now you guys know why he's the vanilla gorilla. Jake's background, played college football, went to the CrossFit games, power lifter, I feel like the only thing he hasn't done is step on stage. And that's where I come in and get to do the bodybuilding stuff. So I, when I do my bodybuilding stuff, I'm like, man, I need more of this. So nobody's better at coaching these exercises. That's what we do in all of our single programs, whether it's functional, athlete, swole, lean, power. We give you guys the proper technique, coach you guys up. So then you can go into the gym. You're not having to worry about it. Am I doing this right? You've seen the videos, you know what you're doing. Just get the work done. I'm trying to talk here because we're over a minute. So we got to get into these. <laughs> Give yourself five seconds, two, three, four, right back on it. Just keep moving. I'll tell you, make sure that you're not breaking for 30. Oh. Still breathing hard, but we got our last AMRAP, which single arm overhead lunge. Jake's gonna demonstrate that for us. So you're just gonna pop it up, and we'll punch it all the way out. And then we're just gonna alternate back and forth in place. Just right here. I'm gonna touch my knee just barely, and then switch sides. So we're gonna go 10 on 10 lunges, switch sides, 10 lunges, 10 burpees, and then we're just gonna roll through that as many times as possible for five minutes. One of the things you notice, when Jake holds up his kettlebell, he's not holding it to the side, he's not holding it here, holding it back like this. This is gonna put your, your shoulder in that proper anatomical position. You start doing here, now we're fighting to keep that kettlebell up here, rotates that shoulder back, Puts us in that nice position to nice and open up to then lunge. There's definitely an I in conditioning and an O that stands for oh shit, I'm out of shape. And a C that stands for cook, you pussy. Get your shit together. We you feel so much better once you're done. It's just, uh, you've been to that, that little place in your head, that little voice say, oh no man, you're good, you can stop. No bitch, I can't. So, just push yourself a little Not bit more. when he's around, huh? Say, hey, work out with a partner. Have them hold you accountable. Thank you guys for watching this. Definitely check out more fitness culture. If you want to get better, we'll get you better. That's for sure. It's going to be no excuse. It's going to be on you. If you like that kind of pressure, knowing that we've given you everything and all you got to do is perform. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. But check that out, fitnessculture.com. Link is always in the bio. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, okay.